Hey YouTube, I'm a V-King here with another awesome video update for you today. And it's a very unique one because I haven't seen anybody else come up with this concept yet. And as you know, I am a enthusiast for over unity and free energy concepts. Concepts. Okay, so just letting you know, it's not a full blown free energy generator, but I can see it being a free energy generator. But before I get to that, I want you to take some time right now to listen to this advertisement that I'm about to promote. It is on myself. Yes, I know it's kind of, kind of, I don't know what, what word you want to use for it. Self-promotive? Yeah. Anyways, here we go. So I am promoting friendbeacon.com. It is a social media platform that I created and it is meant to unify the minds of people that think like me and you. So obviously, if we're wanting to look into ideas of overunity, free energy, or anything that is actually useful to society and advancing humanity, then we need a better platform that is more reliable as far as holding information goes. I have spent the last 10 years doing web design and I'm a firm believer that my social media platform is going to be perfect for promoting any kind of truth seeking type information and your information will be 100% secure. I don't sell people's information and do weird stuff on the internet like not like that alright but uh, friendbeacon.com is more than that it's more than just uh, uniting the masses it's a matter of how it's about to go about uniting the masses and the way we're going to do that is through art so math right english science they're all technically forms of art and we don't look at them that way anymore we kind of just look at them as a burden and that's not the way we should be doing it once you create an account You'll notice that you'll be able to promote your YouTube videos. You'll be able to promote any content that does not go against <coughs> like community guidelines as far as like calling people names, you know, inappropriate content that's obviously not for young viewers, anything like that. Also, get profile reviews and add friends, private message people, send each other information. And it is all completely discreet. I, even I am not able to see it. If, if you want me to see it, you have to send it to me directly. And my link to my friend Beacon bio will be in the description below. So, besides that, let's get to the nitty gritty. Uh, flywheel Mendocino motor polyphase over unity concept. All right, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. Now I'll get started. This is the board I will be using, and this is the flywheel. Let me try that again so you see it good. All right. So this is a very good style of uh, Mendocino motor design, I just want to let everybody know that. I have this available in my Etsy shop and I will have the link to this in the description below. Uh, this Mendocino motor is got a really cool design to it when it comes to how the phase coils are set up. Phase coils, so you can see, I have one, two, three phase coils right there. They are all wired up, let's see if I can get a shot of it here. They're all wired up to the back of these solar panels right there. You can see it right there. Okay, so as soon as the sunlight hits the solar panel, the solar panel being offset going into the coil then repels the energy off the magnet right there. And then they synchronize with the sunlight hitting it. So the sunlight is up there. You'll see it time out like so. This, this will be the igniter because it has the most sunlight hitting it. 
Okay, so that's a really cool note. For the design, I also want to use <clears throat> a combination of my sacred geometry. Like, no, I'm not gonna do that, you know? You know what I mean? For this, I want to put this Mendocino motor on top of here so I know exactly where I want to place my phase coils. All right, and it gets even better. It gets even better. One, one minute. This right here. I want this to go, hang on. Let me see if I can set this right on top like that. Probably can. <coughs> and as you can see, I can. Let me see if I can get them even further down, like so. Okay, no. Okay, so now what we're going to do It's actually really fast, pretty impressed. So what we're gonna do next is take this right here and we're going to put neodymium magnets on each point. And by doing that, you'll understand how we can generate polyphase. All right, so I just simply set this right on top of my Mendocino motor. All right, now check this out. And just do this. Now you will see, you'll see that half the solar panel is still being shown. And we're just a slight little push. I'm running out of sunlight here. Slight little push. Check that out. Okay, so before I end this video, I just want to show you guys how much energy we are producing here. Okay, so here is my Mendocino motor. It's, it's flying really fast. I got my beads hooked up. You see my ohms of 26 ohms. Right, so I'm about to run out of sunlight. Here's my frequency range. Oh, 20 hertz now, the sunlight's really getting low. We were at 30 hertz before, but now you have an understanding of how much energy this can produce all day long.